morning guys! It is 4.30am here in London and we are heading to the airport! We are going away again, we're going on a little bit of a different trip this time. We're flying to Bordeaux and then getting the train to Cognac uh, where we'll be doing a tour of the distilleries. It's Leroy's birthday tomorrow so we're having a bit of a celebration whilst we're out there um, and heading with a couple of our friends. So yeah, it'll be a bit of a different trip to what we're used to but good fun. This was not part of the plan. <laughs> so we got an hour. Woohoo! So what did we do? What do you mean? Are we getting on a different train? We're sitting separately. That's different crazy. train. Because Wesley booked the wrong one. <laughs> and mashed it up and booked it and made it full. Now we came together but we're traveling separately. Uh, anyway, we got we the go. ticket. We're going. There we go. All right. So, after the tickets timing out, and we nearly went on the same train, somehow we managed to get back on the same train. We think maybe someone like cancelled their um, their tickets before they paid, so it like looked like it sold out and then it hadn't, and then we got the last two tickets. So we're on the same train. So we've got an hour to our train, and we are now going to sit here and have a well-deserved drink. There's the guys. Here is the station, we're not going too far. Time is five past 12, we have one hour. Just chilling at the moment, waiting to get our train to Cognac. Um, it's 12 o'clock here, our train is at just before one o'clock. We're gonna take a train ride from Bordeaux to Cognac. It's got a few stops um, and I think it's gonna take about two and a half, three hours. I think we arrive into Cognac at three o'clock. This is how the ticket looks. If you see it there, see it there. <laughs> um, yeah, we go in, we arrive into Cognac at 3.30 and our train leaves at one o'clock. Oh, so two and a half hours. So we'll see you in Cognac. <laughs> to Cognac. We're on this train we're stopping I think twice. Now we're on a 45 minute um, journey from Bordeaux to, I'm going to try and pronounce it, <laughs> to Angoulême. <laughs> yeah that was pretty good right? <laughs> 45 minute journey to Angoulême. We do have allocated seats. We can't find them. Haven't got a clue where they are. So now we're sitting, where, what do you call this area? Where all of the luggage is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're now sitting along with the luggage. But we don't mind because the tickets that we got, we weren't even sitting next to each other and now we're right here. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, total journey is two and a half hours. I think this first bit is 45 minutes. So we'll see you at the next stop. Bye.
stop, the app brought have gone straight to our head. We literally jumped off. We just suddenly realised, I think this is our stop, and we jumped off, and it is, and the train is now about to pull away. It's been a very hectic start to the trip. We have now got, how long are we waiting here for? An hour? An hour. An hour wait until our train to Cognac. See you later. Hopefully we don't miss it. Just arrived in Cognac. Let's see. Two thirty after waking up at three thirty in the morning. We finally arrived in Cognac at two thirty. It looks pretty nice, really pretty. Um, it's really warm. The temperatures. They said the whole week is going to rain, so I think today is the only day. We're also here that it's not going to rain, so we need to take and make the most of the day. So you can have a look at how Cognac looks. Street sign there to Jarnac and Jatte Nouf. Mm -hmm. So be careful of the roads. Don't want to get knocked down. Now we're just going to be walking to our hotel, which should be about a five minute walk from the station, so the station is just there. But now, we're just gonna be walking to our hotel. So we're just arriving at our hotel in Cognac, and we're staying at the Ibis. So far, as we've come into Cognac, I'd say it's one of the most quiet places I've ever been. I know it is a Monday afternoon, what's the time? 3 30 4 o'clock um but it is very quiet in here but let's have a look at this hotel <laughs> welcome to our crib <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the ibis <laughs> mm. pretty small let's shut the door aka cozy Very cozy. Oh wow. Here's What's the that? toilet. It's small. Uh, it's cozy. <laughs> no balcony. Here's the shower. And the room. I can't <laughs> lie, at first I thought this was the shower and I was like, surely not, what is this? <laughs> so, we're gonna chill. I'm gonna wake for 12 hours and it's only 3 p.m. Tired. <laughs> All right, we're in, where are we, in Cognac Square slash circle. Wes has got, what have you got? Uh, Avocado, please. chicken, mm. some fries. Nice. Alicia's got? Chicken, mushroom, pizza with a gooey with, egg in the middle. A gooey egg in it, looks yeah. nice though. Yeah. Mm. Char, what have you got? A veggie bowl, all the veggies, <laughs> and some watermelon. Looks good. And some pineapple and some chips. And then I've just got a crispy chicken burger with fries. Mine's the most boring. <laughs> the standard, but it all looks good. Time to tuck in. So it's the end of our first evening in Cognac. We sat and had dinner in the square. We thought, so it's a public holiday here today and everywhere was really quiet when we were walking in and we were like, there's nowhere open and there's no one here. But we found um, an open restaurant in the square, which is really nice. And then we have some cognac. How are you feeling now? Cognac. <laughs> <laughs> strong, strong, strong. We haven't really done a lot today. We've just travelled. It took quite a while to get here. Tomorrow the cognac tours begin. Love the van coming. Tomorrow the cognac tours begin. It's Leo's birthday tomorrow. We have two tours. One in the morning and one in the afternoon. And then we have a lovely dinner booked. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Today is Tuesday the 16th of August, which means... It's Leroy's birthday! Yes, it is my birthday today. How old are you now? 21 again. <laughs> 21 again. But yeah, just about to go to breakfast now in the hotel. And then, I think we've got two cognac tours. Right, just arriving at the Martel. What do you even call this? Um, Stillery. Martin just arriving at the Martel Distillery Dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yes, the Martel Distillery right now. Oh, it looks really cool. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. The Martel Distillery right here. The Martel Cognac. As we come in, as we enter. Ooh. Wow. Hello, bonjour. Now in the Martel. Looking at all of the Martels before we go on this tour. All of the Martels. Different bottles of Martel. The Martels, this the XXXO, oh XXO, 390 euros. And then I don't even know what this one is, but this one is 2,900 euros. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! Look at all of these different, amazing. It's so pretty in it. So Jean Martin uh, comes from the island of Jersey. Jersey is an Anglo Norman island and he was the first foreigner to implement his house here in the region. So making Martel the oldest great cognac house. So when we talk about the great cognac houses, we talk about Hennessy, Courvoisier, Pré Martin and Martel. These are these are the four big ones, let's say in terms of market share. But actually in the region there's more than 280 different uh, houses so we are not the oldest one which is Maison Augier that is from 1643. So we have just left the Martel tour. I gave Lee all my drinks. How are you feeling? <laughs> About five straight Martels. No ice, no chaser. Straight to the veins. Um, so now we have made our way down to our next, which is the Hennessy tour. It starts at four. Um, so we've booked lunch here. So we are by the river. Oh, she looks really lovely. So here's the river. This is the restaurant that we are going to eat in now. And then we're going to the Hennessy Tour, which is just up there. Even leaves the sun. Thank you so much. Lunch by the river. We got it. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Cognac coffee. Cognac coffee. All right, so we've just had lunch at La Scala, which was right here. La Scala. Charlotte had mushroom risotto, I had a lasagna. So nice. Um, and that was after the Martel tour. Martel? Mm -hmm. And then in five minutes, we've got the Hennessy tour, which is right just down the road. So it's just right there. We've got the Hennessy tour. So we're just going for a little walk, canal side. As you can see, you've got a few people in their canoes. Um, they've got pedalos over there. Um, yeah, so we're just having a quick walk before we go into the tour, Hennessy, which should be decent actually. Yeah? Don't know what to expect. I think we get cocktails and a boat tour with this one. Oh yeah, I think the boat tour is along this canal. Um, so yeah, we will see how this is. 
Da da da. Just getting on this boat, it is going to take us to where they make the Hennessy. And I'm excited to learn about the history of the Hennessy. And then when we get back, we come back to this building here make. where we will have the tasting. very good we went on a little boat journey across the river to see um, where they make it and where they store the barrels and then we came back across to, for the tasting we couldn't record I think you were just ripped we couldn't record in there no, of course. so we have minimum footage um, but it was really good at the tasting at the end they gave us two cognacs and then a cocktail and one on ice um, how did you find them yes um, it was good fun actually um, XO I think was my favorite which um, is the stronger one so that's the more aged one yeah very educational but yet yeah, fun and the drinks were really nice so yeah actually no complaints i just licked them because they were very strong and i feel like i was even getting tipsy off the smell of them <laughs> but it's good fun now we're heading back to the hotel we have an hour to get ready then we're heading out for the birthday boys dinner we've booked a lovely restaurant um Leeward doesn't know where we're going because i'm not going to give you too much info but it hopefully will be really nice. The weather has held out for us. As you can see, it's lovely blue sky. We Hello. got told it was gonna rain. <laughs> 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 um, we thought it was gonna rain, but it didn't, which is great. So yeah, we can have a nice dinner outside and we will see you there. I'll show you around. So guys, we had, I had booked a really lovely restaurant for Leroy's dinner. It was a 10 minute taxi drive away or a 45 minute walk, so obviously we weren't gonna walk. Um, we asked reception to book us a taxi anyway, long story short. Apparently you can't get any taxis in Cognac. Um, it takes two days to get a, book a taxi. So little tip, if you would like a taxi in Cognac, make sure you book it before you leave. Uh, however, she recommended this lovely place, which she said is very similar to the place we had booked. And look, we are on a beautiful rooftop got views of the whole city there you can see Martel you can see Hennessy where we were earlier down here is the river and look at this sunset it is glorious staff are lovely we've had really nice cocktails um, we'll put a link to the place and the name of it below because as it was very last minute I actually don't know the name um, but it's lovely so we sat up here on the rooftop having drinks and then we're gonna go down to the restaurant and have dinner um, their main restaurant is 100 euros per head, so we are going to the a la carte restaurant, which is a little bit cheaper but still quite pricey. Um, but not a bad backup. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think as a second choice, this has now become my first choice. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Wicked for my birthday. The drinks have been perfect. The sun, it was meant to rain all day, it hasn't rained at all. Yeah, the that's sun true. has stayed here. What's the time? Coming up to nine o'clock. Seems like we still got another 45 minutes of sunlight. So who can complain? And we're about to go and have a great dinner, great drinks, great company. All right, company. <laughs> but yeah, it's been wicked. Been all wicked. So guys, these things come in threes, right? We had the, we nearly didn't get on the same train as the friends that we're traveling with. We then nearly didn't get off the train at our right stop. And then we couldn't get a cab to dinner. So that's our third one. Yeah. This is now a lovely restaurant for us to eat in, mm -hmm. and we're very happy. Perfect. Good night. Later. Good morning guys.
three of our trip in cognac um, and today we're gonna go on a Remy Martin cognac tour um, the, the walk from our hotel was like what was that two minutes, two so minutes not far at all a Remy Martin right here I think that it lasts <laughs> Exactly. If you want to just say hello, man. There you go. <laughs> yeah. This is the Remy Martin grounds. They are beautiful. Not allowed to film inside the cellars, but I can show you out here. Look at that. to drink at 10 a.m. You are right in there, babe? arrived at our second Remy tour uh, a little bit out of the city of Cognac we are walking in there now a few of them have said we can't film so we're not sure if we'll be able to show you inside um, but the grounds look lovely as did the rest of them Remy Martin on the so if you come here make sure you book a taxi uh, Merci. Merci. sellers talked us through the process of how they make it um, how they consume it how they sell it things like that um, went on a little train ride that took us around the grounds um, but that was a really good tour now we're on our way back to the hotel where we've got about half an hour 45 minutes to chill until we then go to Cavossier is our last one we yeah. have to get the train there as it's in the next town um, but the lady in our hotel is going to take us in her car, which is so nice of her because the train times aren't great and we'd miss the start of our tour. Yeah, absolutely no taxis in Cognac. So the hotel, <laughs> yeah, the way the woman at the hotel has offered to drive us in her car, which is super kind. All the people in Cognac have been so friendly, helped us out massively. Um, so on, we go into our last stop, which is Hennessy. So, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll be going to our last stop, which is Corbusier. So we have just got back from the second Remy tour 
and we had half an hour to kill. The boys have obviously gone to nap, so Leisha and I have come out for a little walk. We are gonna go and have a little walk around the church. Um, apparently it was built in 1130, which is very old. And we think it's owned by the community. Leisha? Yeah. Owned by the community. Parish. Um, by the parish. So yeah, we're gonna have a little look around. Maybe we'll get some snacks. We've not actually had lunch yet. We've kind of been having picky bits all day. We're very full. Yesterday I had two risottos, <laughs> so we're very full. entrance is usually here but they're doing construction so we're gonna walk around and the entrance is oh oops <laughs> the entrance is by the water around the corner um so last one Cavossier on our last day our last night in cognac although this is in a town down in Jarnac um and we're going to Kavosi. I think we've got it. It starts in 10 15 minutes. Look how nice it looks from here. Absolutely beautiful. Is that the best bit? Oh, look at this bottle. Best bit look indeed. Bottle, 2,250. This is what Leroy's going to get me for Christmas this year. Eight and a half thousand euros. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That is okay. the most expensive one. That is. Okay, into the tasting. We go. Into the tasting. Now we're about to tasting. Floral notes. I don't know if you are good. At floral notes. <laughs> People are drinking. Oh. Cheers. 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 The lady this one. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. For example, when painting with a, a keyboard, he uh, he says uh, in, in the VSOP, I I'm able to to no, smell jasmine. If I had. One whole one, I mm -hmm. might die. Yeah, I would die. <laughs> yeah, I'll be drunk. You have to carry me away. Happy birthday, sir. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you very oh, wow. much. Oh, wow. Wow, extra wow. That's this one. extra, extra. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh, that's so nice. I smell cheers. this one properly. Yeah, you've got to do cheers. this one good. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers, 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 cheers. And me. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> smells beautiful. Well, thank you for coming to Courvoisier on this day. Thank you. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you for thank having, you us. having us. Thank you. Oh, oh no, have you had the, the XO so yet? This one is the, is it this one? Yeah, yeah this is this one. The XO Royal. Jeez. Wow. How much so, is this one? <laughs> I was going to ask how many years ago now. 310 years. Whoa! <laughs> guys so we just finished from the Corbusier tour went back to the hotel quickly had a quick freshen up and now we're going to the Martel um, rooftop bar so they've got a rooftop bar at Martel it's 7 30 at night but the sun is still out shining um, so we're just gonna have a couple of drinks going to have a dinner as well um, it was meant to be raining this whole day so we've just absolutely had a touch. The sun is still shining. Yesterday was also meant to be raining, but the sun was out until nine o'clock. Um, we're just walking up to the Martel bar. So you can see there's the Martel sign. So the rooftop bar is up there. Um, as we come in now here, 
So we're just gonna have a couple of drinks and hopefully it should be a nice evening. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. Ah, oh, perfect. Thank you. 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 Just left Martel. Rooftop up here. Oh, up there. <laughs> yeah, we just left Martel rooftop bar. We just had a quick drink. Second rooftop bar of the trip. It was, yeah, really nice. Again, sun out. Um, nice vibes, nice music, nice people. And beautiful views of the city. Yeah, definitely. And now we're just on our way. It's like, what's the time? 20 to 9, 8.30, 8.40 p.m. And we're on our way to try and find dinner. Um, we've heard that there's a nice full place of so Vietnamese. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely starving. So I want like a really filling rice dish. Mm. What do you want? Yeah, maybe some pho as well. Um, or apparently there's some nice sauteed um, veggies with rice, maybe that. Yeah. So but we're on our way there. It's our last night here tonight. Uh, it's gone so quick. Our trips always seem to go so fast. Um, we have a few more trips planned for this year, so we will be back. We will be back. It's been such a nice time. Only three nights in Cognac, but we've done so much, fit so much in, mm. in the three days. Um, everything's been quite close as well. Yeah, really um, close, apart from all our taxi incidents, which you guys have seen. Yeah, but all of the um, distilleries that we've visited have been within five minutes walking distance from our hotel so we can't complain about that so it's been really good and now it's time to find some food and eat some grub okay good morning guys we are on the way to the train station in cognac it is our last morning we just had breakfast obviously we're with all the bags <laughs> <laughs> um we're getting the train we should get to cognac um to Bordeaux, sorry at about 12 and then we have got six hours in bordeaux so we are going to go around the wine museum and have lunch and then get our bus back to the airport. So I'll see you in Bordeaux. And then keep the code. Keep the code. Oh, your it's just gone. Yeah. I'll put it in my purse. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, so we dropped our bags off and we are now getting tickets for the tram to take us to the wine museum. So here we are. Here's the English. Buy a new ticket. No change. Okay, fine. And we want two journeys and then toss and pay. Oh, so easy. Okay, great. Um, printing our tickets. And here they are. So we are getting on the tram and we will see you on the tram. <laughs> right now, in these Bordeaux streets. <laughs> in the streets. <laughs> As you can see, waiting for the tram. So. This is how Bordeaux looks. There's the Ibis, we know it well. But this is the Bordeaux one. Tram life. And we are just waiting for the tram that's gonna come at any minute. What did you say, sorry? Nothing. Oh, you said, oh, okay, I thought you said something. Okay, it's Quincos. Yeah, hey, where are we going? <laughs> Quincos. Quincos. <laughs> Guys, Quincos. <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Queen Concess. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that will be our coach that's gonna take us to the airport later on. Um but for now we are just waiting for this tram. Where are we going? City du van. City du van. And what's there? The one is Bordeaux Wine Museum. Yeah. It's uh, nine floors of immersive uh, wine history. Jeez. And then on the top floor, yep. we're going to have a glass of wine. Oh, and top flavor, floor. Everything that we have just learned. Yes. Top floor. <laughs> so you heard that here first. <laughs> top floor, rooftop, wine on our last day. All right. Is the tram coming? Is it really? And here comes the tram. <laughs> As you can see. Okay, so we have found it. So we got off here, which is where we are right now. We're going here and we're going to go, first of all, to this, which is a fresh food market and get something to eat. And I'm starving. <laughs> and tired. But He's in a great first. mood. Look left, look right. When you're crossing it's very the road. confusing when you cross the roads here because you're not sure which way the traffic is coming from. Twice we have nearly got run over. Spot the tourists. Exactly. Looks nice. <laughs> Looks really nice around here. We can have a look. What sort of food have they got here? I'm starving. It'd be nice if we could sit outside in the sun. Or we just have to find a menu and see what we can find. six variations of empanadas so I don't know which one I'm gonna pick I might just close my eyes and pick one <laughs> I think niche and Wes are getting a lobster roll and I might just have a Sprite for now um, so we're gonna get something small head to the wine bar and then come back here and go to town on all of the food all right we've just finished you know having a nice little snack I had my chicken empanada Charlotte had her watermelon and feta salad Yes, and it was beautiful. A nice little market this was. A nice little street food type market as you can see. Um, and then now we're going up into this place which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> La City du Vin. Is that what it's called? <laughs> well, it's, a wine museum. it's a wine museum. So we're going to get the culture in and learn about different wines. And then we might have to taste the wine to see what they, if what they were telling us is true. So it's kind of, you know, an experiment. <laughs> and I'm all good and all happy with experiments that include tasting the wine or a beer. So yeah, I'm not even sure how much. I think you've got to pay entry here, isn't it? I think it's 20 euros. And what does that come with? A free wine. Does it? Yeah. 20 euros including a free wine. Bag search included free of charge <laughs> um, but yeah let's go in here and have a look so we're here we got a ticket and so we have tickets for the second floor here and then the tasting which is up here so we are heading up Ooh, look at the cell over there so we are heading up to the second floor oh, no. section and it will tell us about um, what's going on in that section so you guys won't be able to hear anything so we'll tell you how it was after so to make you feel like you have to scan it on the thing Leroy is having some trouble 
Stupid, stupid system. Throw the whole, throw the whole system away. <laughs> Silly. Smell it. Alright. Smell this. Yeah, smell it. Come on, come Smells like dog food. <laughs> it actually smells like dog food. Mm, this no, that, one smells good. This, this one's one. be better than this dog. one. Dog. I'm not smelling dog. It's not dogs. Oh. <laughs> it's the wood that they get to the thing that they Red play. Can go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Go. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> Just try, just try. No, you have no. to. I'm like, come on, come on, just smell it. I, I we, all, we all did it. It's just a smell, it's just a quick little whiff. It's just a little whiff. <laughs> 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 it's just a little whiff. one. Yeah, just smell a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just smell a little bit. Just smell a little bit. Just smell a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do it. You're never going to do it. enough knowledge for us now for the toasting we need to go back down and find the lift to floor eight we always ready for the tasting ready for the tasting that was very educational very fun but now i'm ready for the wine tasting eighth floor from the second to the eighth ticket scanned we are in the lift Onto the balcony. Oh, hey, a drink. Look at these views. <laughs> no Cheers. 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 Okay, guys, we finished our tasting. Lovely views. It wasn't windy, which was good. We're now waiting for the lift to head back down and go and get. Food. Ready to Before we make our way back to the airport, because that's the end of our trip. Alright, so we've just left the food market. Right now, the rain's just stopped. First time actually it's rained since we've been here, but it was meant to rain the last three days. Um, just left the food market now we're on our way back to Bordeaux station and then from Bordeaux train station we're gonna get the train back to the airport just had a nice lunch I had sushi um, Charlotte had don't tell me patatas bravas with padron peppers cheese <laughs> um, yeah now we've just left there on our way to Bordeaux train station been a great trip um, oh there's that look behind us there is the art exhibition <laughs> like, the city du vent yeah the <laughs> wine museum wine museum that's it art, 
I was thinking, I was, I was paying attention, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we made it back to the train station and we are getting on our bus. Here it is. I have 4% battery, so we're probably going to end the vlog here. Um, we've had a great time in Cognac. It was a bit of a different trip to what we used to, but we would definitely do another city break, I think. Yeah, our next destination might be um, uh, somewhere a little bit further away, maybe outside of Europe. But we've had a great time in Cognac. Amazing time. <laughs> I was really tired. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.